water level is down. The waterfall is now nearly a trickle. We are into early winter. And Golden Hill Road is packed even on weekdays nowadays. And voila, there they are, I didn't set off with high hopes of finding them. The sight of them has already got me beaming from ear to ear. <laughs> but really this is an odd place to find them, on a section of the road so near to the dam. One normally would only find them here if there is a reason for it, like the presence of a feeder as we saw last time. And if it's the case here, one should have seen more or less the entire gang, not that very few of them, and they don't look like they have already seen much goodies either. In other words, I don't think they are here by choice. A few more have just turned up. It looks as though they are just regrouping here. The ones we saw just now indeed haven't been here for long, including Grandee. I think I've just caught them while they are on the run. And that wound we saw last time seems to have got worse. That's the wound when we saw him in the last episode. It looked pretty dry and was on the mend then. And now it does seem to have a necrotic edge, here and there. And it seems to be oozing too. Indeed, the wound seems to have got a bit bigger, and there is likely to be an infection going on too. Now I can see that some of the tissue is devitalized. But the good news is that the underlying tissue has a healthy pink base, and is granulating healthily. This should heal, but it's been delayed by being pried open again. I don't mean by Brie. I think it's been reopened again, probably in a scuffle. Indeed, you could see some recent blood stain on his hindquarters. He has been in a fight recently. In humans we would debride the necrotic tissue, and clean the wound out with saline or betadine. Of course they don't have resort to the kind of wound care we have, but what Brie is doing serves the same purposes. Scrapping away the slough, and applying their version of antiseptics, their saliva. Brie, Bossy's oldest daughter knows her stuff. She must have dealt with similar wound many times before. 
In the wild they do get wounded from time to time. And I think she and probably others have done a good job. The wound is still pink and will heal, given time. You need someone older and wiser to take care of the wound. Belonging to a troop is just so important. And it's worth the shitty monkey politics. It seems they have been left in peace so far from whatever they are running from. Indeed, Grandi has been in a conflict recently. There are new wounds on his right arm too. Those look shallower, but they have the same hallmarks of bite wounds as the one on his left arm. Poor guy, he's been trying hard to defend the troop. So it's now Bossy's turn to tend the wound of her man. Father to her kids, Bubby and Boppy. Bossy is honoring his man's gallant deed, her appreciation is what matters to the alpha male, who relies on her backing to stay on the post.
In his weakened state, his position is most vulnerable to challenges from within and out. Bossy's seal of approval really matters to him. Bossy is doing exactly the same thing as her daughter. They know their stuff. They've been surviving many hardship for years without our intervention. And both Rhesus and Long-Tailed have become the most widespread primates after humans not without a reason their society with all the safety networks. You can tell they know the difference between healthy tissue and slough. 